So you boys are going to come and help me pull these sharks out of the tank. What? Pull sharks out of the tank? Yeah, well, how else do you get a sample? They won't donate. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm Wade King. Yeah! I'm Brett Raymond. This looks like a science lab. This is a science lab. When you have a species that is reproductively challenged, they're slow to reproduce and they're also endangered, we intervene with assisted reproductive technology. This is a one-of-a-kind lab. He's a one-of-a-kind scientist. He's actually successfully produced AI sharks. The genetic samples that we get from the sharks here get stored in liquid nitrogen over here. So this is a shark sperm bank right here? It is. How cold does that get? Uh, minus 196 Celsius. That's nearly minus 400 Fahrenheit. How long will the sperm last inside the cryo chamber? DNA is stable at those temperatures forever. Female 100 years from now, she could have the pups of a male that existed 150 years ago. The sharks that we're working with here, the sand tiger sharks, one of the most threatened shark species in the world. Those guys are down to around 1,500 individuals in the wild, which is really low. Help to breed these sharks in aquariums like this and then maybe take some of that information that we learn here out to that population in the wild. That's pretty awesome. That's the science, but there's a little bit of grunt work to do to get to the science. So you boys are going to come and help me pull these sharks out of the tank. What? Pull sharks out of a tank? Yeah, well, how else do you get a sample? They won't donate. Whoa, 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 whoa. You want us to go in a tank with those big tiger sharks and grab one and pull it out of the tank? We have a way to do it very safely for the animal and for you, but uh, you're going to have to build up your courage and get ready to get in the water and get face to face with these guys. That's crazy. That's cool. That's pretty exciting. It's like James Bond type stuff. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a tank full of sharks. More sharks in here than you would have seen in any aquarium. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to catch one female, one male. I'm going down first to catch the male shark while Wade waits up top so we can get the shark in position and then extract the semen. Then Wade's going to have an opportunity afterwards to go down and get the female shark for insemination. Wade, if you stay here and be ready, we're going to come up to the surface, help us just take the shark to the side and then just keep it here in a tight space. You know what, I've done a lot of dives, but knowing a big tiger sand shark is coming up here with all those teeth, that's a little scary right now. Flipping the shark over puts it in an inactive tonic state. It's safer for the shark, but we only got about 10 minutes before the shark comes out of it. Then we become dinner. So what we're going to try and do is get the catheter into the reproductive tract of the shark. Big shark, and that's all we get today. So that'll give us a little bit so we can see how this guy's going and maybe try again in a couple of months. That was intense. But at least we were able to collect a small sample of sperm from the shark. Yeah, absolutely. Now I can add shark wrangling to my list of skills. Nice. Part one of the mission accomplished. Wait, if you want to kid up. Let's do it. Take Let's go. Go. That shark is really strong, probably like three, 400 pounds. And when it starts wiggling and you got a grip on it, you're trying to breathe, trying to find the surface, definitely intense. All right, I think I see them coming to the surface. You're completely out of breath, wasn't Dude, it? Dude, I used the whole tank of air. I was so nervous. Okay, that's it. 
it. He's going to have a quick look at the heart and the uh, ovaries and follicles and listen to tell us if this girl's receptive. Right. All right. Are we looking dark? Her ovary size is, is uh, pretty small on the ultrasound. There's nothing really on there like follicles or anything to look at that would tell us that she's receptive right now. So it's not the right time to deliver that sperm. So what we got to do is we got to keep watching the girls and make sure that we know when they're in cycle, when the boys are in cycle, and then we time it and then you get AI. Beautiful. Since this female isn't developed enough for insemination yet, the team is going to take the sperm that they've collected and freeze it for future use. We're going to get a little kick when we rock that rotator. We were this close to being part of history here. Yeah. I wanted to make a shark baby and name it Fred. Oh, Push my head down. That's the closest I've ever been to a shark, probably the closest I ever want to be.